Hello. Well, I should be tagging friends for this. Who should I tag? I'm just adding people randomly. What's the problem with having like thousands of friends? It's too way, too way too popular. I just have lots of people on my Facebook. I'm trying to add people and my arm's getting tired. I do it on my left arm now. Inside you see. So I'm watching X Factor, but it's on catch up, so it's yesterday. Evenings X Factor. Uh, hello, everyone. Just adding people. Javina Newland. What if it's related to me? If it's if she's related to me. Yeah. So um if I heard that on the radio with your voice on it, I would love that performance. It was immaculate. Da 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 For me, if there's a scale from Daniel O'Donnell to Bono, you're here somewhere and I want to push you up to the middle. And I'll tell you why. There's a tiger in there and there's a fighter in there. I saw it at the audition. Oh, this is forever. It's taking forever. Sorry anyone that is watching. I didn't expect to sort of be adding every single person because this is something I need to do before going live, surely. Surely. Hello. Hello. Even if people don't stay, it just it looks like I've had lots of people watching. It's an illusion. This is more of a hangout. More of a. I'll have my laptop on the lap. So I can see if anyone's putting comments on. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Just adding all these people. I probably come on once, think, what the heck? He's in his dressing gown. He hasn't brushed his hair. Doesn't look like he's bathed for a week, but I have. Well, it's just under a week ago. So I'm just still adding people. Oh, I'm tired now. 
Da 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 da. Andre, you alright, mate? Watching telly. It's not what it looks like. You were gonna eat him without me, weren't you? I woke up today, I had a headache. Hello, Irene. Hi, Irene. She's gonna, gonna get me a uh, dinghy on so I can see the messages a bit more succinctly. Where are we? Facebook. No, no, no. Oh, the internet's not connected yet. Oh! See, because I've got my dressing gown on. Also, someone said to me, Sebastian is some um, strange man called Sebastian, said, have I got mould on my wall? It's not mould, I've just been washing it. It's just dirt. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it's definitely better than mould. So I gave it a wipe over. Because Andre's cage used to be just here. So I used to lean against the wall while I was doing stuff on the cage. Because it was quite far out. And I guess my hands... Also I used to have newspapers on top as well, which would leave a, a mark. Right, okay. It's a Facebook. So I haven't got, um, hi Will John, I haven't seen you for a while, you used to come on air, we did the live broadcasts last year I think it was, because is it and you've got a picture of a pirate on your, on your thing, I think. This thing is a Chromebook. It's so slow. So slow. Oh, my neck. I woke up with a headache today. And I had to go back to bed, take painkillers and go back to bed. It's all right now, but my neck's a bit. It's a little bit uncomfortable, really, but it's bright light shining in my face. Andrea. Demarcia. Oh, I don't feel we've met. How are you doing? I'm Jason Nulanda. Jason Nulanda. Right, live. 8.38 minutes. Oh, look at me. Looks like I've got a belly. Clearly, I'm slim. It just doesn't show, does it? <laughs> it looks like I'm, I've got my head and I'm wearing a fat suit. Oh my god. It's not what I look like, is it? Oh. Oh well. So we come on in here. Kathleen Verasolo Maganaro. Hello. Sent a love heart. Thank you very much. Sent a love heart, but then left. So, Andrew came on in and then left. Janika came on in and left. And now Will's gone. Irene's gone. So everyone's gone. Amy, hi Amy. Now to me, wanna get close to you. Oh, 
remember that I'm watching because I don't can you hear me okay I haven't got the microphone on because I've got the power plugged into the phone because it's gonna cut off otherwise wow I might need to lose weight you think about it though you've got all that material that makes me I'm getting really self-conscious so it's a dressing gown that's what it is so I'm just I'm watching Yeah, I'm watching the X Factor. Like pantomime. Everything around you was so corny, it was like being in the worst bar in the world, which isn't a bar, and actually you're cooler than that. And for you to be on this show, you've got to set a trend. And this is not what you would come back with if you had a hit and you were coming back next year. You wouldn't have palm trees and weird things around you. That's all I would say. Misunderstood. I thought a name like Misunderstood for a band, it would be females, but Misunderstood. Sure, there was a band called that. Misunderstood. You know, like Mr. Mangan. Molly Scott's next. Well, her tutor could tell her, teach her to sing, but I don't think she'd be able to teach her to dance. Perhaps, I don't know. La 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 la, so who's watching now? Victoria, hi Victoria. Gonna tell you how I feel now. And you're gone. And she's gone. Victoria's gone. Why is he doing a broadcast where he's just watching television? What's the point in that? Well, actually, I am so happy that we changed. someone asked me to do this, so that's why I'm doing it.
more time Hello, Renee. 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 Hello. Thank you, man. Oops. Yeah, Molly, I know, um, I know it's difficult having your song changed last minute. Simon said <laughs> Sorry, Kel's standing up and laughing, clapping, but no one else got up. Just the sex day, you know. Yeah, yes. Uh, this is what's known as creative jealousy. Um, I love the song, and I love the song because I always think a risk is when you do something boring, and that wasn't boring. And it's probably the first time a lot of people have heard that song. I think it's the kind of song you would sing if you were an artist. Very in mind, you couldn't even talk two days ago. It was a miracle. And I think the audience... <laughs> Good thing you, uh, yes. Bloody flies. I've had an invasion of flies for the last four days. Less now than there was, but... I guess I just all come inside because it's colder outside now. So I'm thinking of just turning the heating off and letting them become icy in there so they all go away. Fiona McQueen. Did you manage to get to sleep at the end? Hello. Hello there. 
This is weird. Normally it comes up on... Oh, that's strange. Oh. You know what I'm doing? I'm looking, so I'm looking at my laptop and I'm looking at the bottom of the pile. It's actually the, the, the latest ones come at the top. The latest messages. So, uh, Fiona and someone else is watching, I don't know. So I can't see the picture, they've gone again. Fiona, it's only me and you. I, inv I invited loads of people and I've had absolutely loads of people come. Take one look at me and then just leave. Just gone. And uh, I had a couple of people say hello. God, I look pregnant, don't I? In this dressing gown. So I'm just watching telly. But I am looking at any messages that you might send. I might not see it on the screen, but I'll see it on the thing. Basically, John put a message on my Facebook page asking would Sunday evenings around 8pm be okay to go live. Um, 8pm probably not, but I've gone live now. I have sent him a message. So I've added him and everything, but I don't know, he might be busy. Yeah. I think you can see all the flies coming and going. But an invasion of flies. Never had it before. Lived here for three, getting on to four years in April, and suddenly got no. I must have had about forty flies in it. Got rid of most of them. But they just, I don't know where they're coming from. I don't get it. There's, there's no dead animals or anything, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, I feel, I feel like I'm going to open the kitchen and there's going to be a, a dead cow in there or something. That's, I know it explains it, but everything's tidy and I live, in, I live a minimalist lifestyle. So it's not like I've got lots of stuff that it could, you know, that stuff could be hiding behind. And well, I thought I saw a mouse running across the floor towards my room, my chair last night. So I pulled the chair up, and the whole thing fell apart. The chair fell apart. It was about four, three or four in the morning. So I had to get a screwdriver and put it back together again. And while I was doing that, Andre was all over the thing, all over trying to sniff in and getting in the way. Uh, so he said, I only just noticed, what is that? I only just, my, uh, I can probably read it better on the screen. I just noticed that you're on. Do you know if I can get a notification when you're live? Well, I'm live now, am I? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the notifications would be... Probably maybe on your side you need... I don't know. I'm really not sure. He's my favourite singer, Dalton. Never change all my colours for you. Any much further, I don't want to really go where you must go. I don't want to back inside, passion inside. No way to hide. My favorite Whitney song of all time. to win.
Alex Williams Smith is here and then he left. That's my favourite song of all time. Well, not of all time. Did I say my favourite song of all time? It's not, but it's my favourite Ringo song. When I first listened to that album, The Bodyguard, I think it was on, that song, I just loved it straight away. In fact, if I remember, I listened to it three times in a row. Because you have everything. So predictable. She rehearsed that before the show. She knew that he was going to sing a song called I Have Nothing. She thought, oh, right, let's rehearse this. Don't know why you sung I Have Nothing. You had a lot. No, that's not right. You have everything. Yeah. Oh, Muppet, you know, the Kirby. Hey, James. Every single week, and you raise the bar every single week. You should be very, very proud of yourself. And let me also say, I've not heard a reaction like this in the room. That's you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No point giving a message to someone if you're seeing me now watching this. This is a message. Who else is the message going to be for? What have you been up to today? Well, I woke up, Fiona, as you said, what, what, what was I up to? I didn't want to go to bed last night. So I was up to, yeah, probably six, probably, something like that. And, but I was in a good mood. I was really kind of quite up. And I wanted to stay up, didn't want to, but I was getting tired a bit, but I just didn't want to go to bed. In the end, I gave up and went to bed. But I woke up with a headache. And... I had some breakfast and I had to go back to bed and I had to take some tablets, painkillers, go back to bed because my head, right at the top of my head was just, I felt like I had a hangover, but I don't drink alcohol, but that's how, that's how it felt. So, it's either take painkillers or have a drink, I suppose, but then it, does that work? If you don't drink and you feel like you've got a hangover, if you have a drink, like, you know what it's say if you have another drink, that it takes a hangover away. Air, air of the pig. And I just... That's drinking, by the way. I'm not nothing weird. Oh, look, this is quite good. Listen to it. As I should have. That's one of the things I love about X Factor is the songs they sing are nice. Sometimes. What else have I been up to? That's it. Uh, when I got up again after the headache was gone, which it was, I was in bed like um, cuddling Andre. 
so that's quite nice. And I listen to, I've been listening to Audible books. So I'm now a member of Audible, I don't know if you're in there, but um, if you, it's basically an Amazon thing, and you can listen to the books, and what I do is, you get one credit a month, and you can buy one book, but you can also buy other books separate. So I, I chose the most expensive book on there, like about 40 pound, and it's, uh, it's a big uh, book on psychology. So I've been listening to it. So I like educational stuff rather than um, sort of fiction or anything. So I've been listening to it and it's like lectures and it's really good because it's all about um, mental health and everything to do with that. So I was listening to that. I fell asleep so I didn't honestly hear it all. But um, at the end of it I woke up and my head was fine. Andre run off. I think he escaped. I'll be back in a minute, I'm going to bed to find headphones. Can you not hear me? For whatever reason, I'm drawn to you. You're a very, very, very likeable person. That vocal that you just delivered there was absolutely amazing. You should be really... Is it too quiet? Is it too quiet? It's a very brave thing to do, so I'm going to say, well done. Jojo Chittenden. Hi, Jojo Chittenden. Oh, Church 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 can you stand there and just sing for an hour and 45 when it's your own show? I need to see a little bit more from you, but no doubt you are class. You are class. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. You really are. Oh, yes. What, for an hour and 45? No, because we only have three minutes. Scott, you know what? I mean, the film, I know, it was, it was quite traumatic for you because we changed the song, but this was your choice. You wanted it. Um... The vocal was so much better than last week, and it shows that you're a fighter and you're strong, and you know what's good for you. I oh, thanks. Yeah, and I did. You're back. Can you not hear me without headphones? Is it not loud enough? Simon, always nice to see you being a bit more supportive of your own acts. So, back on that, your own acts. That's good. Um, what do you want to say? Well, I'm telling you, I love it. So I love you as well, but Dad, that was for you. It was the first time you ever talked to me, and I love you so much. Oh, she loves you, Dad. Dad. Oh, she loves you, Dad. Dad. Oh, she loves you, Dad. Dad. Oh, sorry, I was just uh, looking at the computer. Ian's on TV, watching F1 on TV. So it's too loud. Yeah, isn't it? And basically, you could have it on mute and just play the same soundtrack from every single race. I suppose, apart from the the talking. I'd be quite good. I quite like to do the uh, the commenting on F1. So you know, like they're driving. And he's still driving. Now he's turning a corner. Now the other one's turning the corner. And they're still driving. 
and they're coming up to another corner. And now, now he's pulling in to get his wheels changed. Oh, look how quickly they do it. Now he's driving again. And they're still driving. Yeah, I'd be good at it. This is good, I like this. I think my hearing's going a little bit because the volume seems really low at the moment. But it's on 20, and that's the, the loudest I ever really let it go when I'm watching telly. Apart from if I'm watching Netflix, sometimes I have to have it louder. That was interesting, wasn't it? If you only like the F1, I don't. I've never really understood it. I swear I've not, because I'm not a driver, I don't. My brother loves it. I lived with someone that used to watch it all the time. Not all the time, when it was on. But it would be just. Didn't I? I suppose. I suppose the crashes are exciting, but I don't want to see crashes, you know? So I can see the exciting when someone crashes and they get out unhurt, that's, that's cool. But so Fiona says she has a TV blaring. Well, I can't do that because. I don't, um, I have to think of the neighbours, you know, if I have the TV up too loud, then they have the TV up loud, and then I have to have it louder to take away their noise, and they have to have theirs louder so they can hear their TV, and then it gets to a point where the whole building just crashes down through the noise, decimals. I've lived with so many people over the years that... I try and be quiet with neighbours, you know, because I've had neighbours, I've had so many bad noise, noisy neighbours over the years, and a neighbour I've got now is really quiet, so I'm, I'm lucky, so I try not to be the try, plus, because I'm, I'm awake at nights, I have to kind of, yeah, at the moment it's on a 20, and you can hear the level, it's not, you can hear it, but I don't think it's loud loud, it's not too loud. But come about 12, I put it down to 10. And then I can struggle to hear it sometimes. Is this weird doing this? Me watching telly. Hi Gary. How you doing? Filming myself watching television. Is this a new low for me? <laughs> Is this a, a new low? Oh. <laughs> The thing is, the only says that I have it between 50 and 70. You must be deaf. Well, it depends because your, your 50 might be my 20. You see what I mean? You might have a, because I've got, um, I'm not bragging, but I've got, uh, I think it's 30 inches. I'm packing 30 inches. I think my, my TV is 32 inches, I think. And I don't think it even goes up to 50. Don't, let's, let me see. Oh, I can't do it, it's not fair on the movies, but I don't think it goes up to 50. 
so I'm guessing maybe yours, you need to have it to 50 to be at the same kind of level as what I am. Unless, of course, you just really are deaf. But then, I, I used to be deaf in one ear. I'll tell you that story another time. I'll, I'll save that to let me bore you to sleep. Because that is, I can, I can do an hour on that. About, I used to have, um, I don't know which year it was, but I used to suffer with ear rates when I was about seven. And kept going to the doctors and having tests. I can do the adverts and I can turn it off. I kept having tests on my ear, but I kept getting ear aches and going to the school nurse, you know. And uh, it turned out that I had a problem with my ear and I was started getting my ears tested and my hearing was really, really low in those ears, in that ear. I think in both ears, but one ear in particular. And uh, I had to have an operation. I had my adenoids removed when I was eight. Or seven. Yeah, I might be seven. Seven or eight, something like that. Ear chat tag me and the one you do about it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm, I'm not going to do an ear chat. I'm going to do a, it's, it will be a let me bore you to sleep. It will be a, I don't know, is it is it suitable to do a, a, a sleep session talking about a medical procedure? But then I won't be talking about the actual operation because I didn't, I wasn't, I was there, but I don't recall it. But there's a whole story about it that includes Bovril and, you know. Yeah, so I, that's the thing I do is Jason Chats, Let Me Boy You to Sleep. What else do I do? Well, there's the hypnotic buffets, there's the daily hypnosis, there's the, I've done hypno chats, the whisper sleep hypnosis, there are so many different things. It's back. I was saying, I think. Two acts returning next week. Oh, I was convinced I was going to be in the bottom three. Through on the public boats. I'm shocked. Rock and roll. See, if I wasn't watching television, then I'd be better, better off making a session. Weight loss. I've done a couple of weight loss sessions somewhere. Of course, I didn't watch them myself. I didn't listen, I didn't listen to my own sessions. Cheers to that. Um, I think with losing weight, I know it's not not for everyone, it's not, but I think sometimes it's a case of just exercising. With me, I can lose weight by exercising and eating exactly the same. But it's not, as I said, not the same for everyone, is it, I suppose? I still One of my concerns is, at the moment I can do it, so I've got a bit of a problem with my lower back, which is limiting, but I could probably do enough exercise to lose weight, but what happens when I can't? What happens if I get to a point? Because lack of exercise could lead, lead to less of an ability to do exercise, not just with weight, but just the joints and, you know, whatever. Then what would I do?
But then I'll, I've inherited this body. I'm just a, a younger version of my dad, in some ways, physically. Even my, yeah, my brother got the same kind of shape, you know? He's slimmer than me, but he's still... Most uh, lovely that I've ever met. Hmm. I understand you did an original version of the song. I appreciate that. Um, but it was just a bit too mental for me in general, to be honest. To be honest. Just trying to be in the moment, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just realised I can. I've got a Chrome boot, I can make the screen bigger. <laughs> I'm struggling to see it. The only thing I've just put on so much over the last two years with depression, I'm just getting out of slump. That's why I'm not on. That's why I'm on to Spain for the month to reset and start again. Yeah, I. I started smoking uh, last year, yeah, and I lost weight. Didn't eat any less, I don't think, but I lost weight. And I had to smoke for 17 years. And I was really pleased with the weight loss because people were actually asking me. If you, if you lost weight, which I suppose is what someone might say if you, they think you've lost weight. And I said, yeah, I have. And it made it harder to stop smoking because it was, in a weird way, benefiting me. I kind of felt a bit better. It's a really rubbish way to just to give up, you know, to lose weight, but it's still, the thing is, and I kept smoking, I put the weight back on, so it, was, it clearly didn't work. It's really strange, I'm all about wanting to give up, maybe lose a bit of weight, but at the same time, I really want to eat some ice cream. Not just the ordinary ice cream, I mean proper haagen or Ben & Jerry's. I can't, because I've got none. Iceland closed at four. There is nowhere to get a Ben & Jerry's or, I don't think, unless I ordered a pizza from Domino's. In my life, I don't know.
think sometimes though, with the X Factor, and when someone sings a like a really famous song, no matter how well they sing it, it sometimes feels a bit karaoke. And I love karaoke, so it's not a put down, but just. Because if I sing a song, it's really hard to take the original song out. And I mean out for lunch, but I mean... We have a Domino's tonight. You forgot my shops close early on a Sunday. What do you mean my shops? Where do you live? You in another country? All shops close early on the sun, but Scotland. Are you talking about my my shops close early? Wait. Well, maybe it's different there. They don't always murder songs. You leave my X Factor, and I'll leave your F One alone. Even though pubs are still like, open late and everything like that. Down. The, all the supermarkets have to close at four o'clock on a Sunday. Still, even twenty years after they allowed them to be open, because they weren't allowed to be open at all. And the only other thing is like local shops, you know, like corner shops and news agents and things like that that might be open. Tesco's and Asda. Actually, you've got a point. I think Asda is open 24 hours, but it's the other side of town, I can't get to it. Yeah, that's a good point. I think the Tesco is also is open 24 hours, but again, that's the other side. So apart from the, the supermarkets that are open 24 hours, most supermarkets close at 4 o'clock. You've got Iceland and stuff like that. Starbucks. Starbucks open, are you sure it's open 24 hours or do you mean you can drive in and get a coffee but you can't sit in there 24 hours I bet. McDonald's, yeah I've got a 24 hour McDonald's up the road, Houston. it's up the road but again it's too far to travel on a Sunday, the buses are like every three days. Sit in 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, I suppose. When I lived in London, everything was open all the time. And I think the thing about living in London is you don't rely on supermarkets the same way as perhaps we do in other parts of the country. Because there's shops everywhere. Just, you know, it's, and it's all the time. There's always something open. You need to buy something, you can always find somewhere. But here, I live in the countryside, and the, the garage is 24 hours, but they're very, they're very, like, arsy about what they sell you. You usually have to try and wake them up. So you go there after like 12 or 1, they were asleep. So they have to like bang on, the, bang on the window for about an hour to get them out. And then they like just... The only thing that I would ever really want to are if I... Tobacco maybe. Or 
which I normally wouldn't get at night, but if I did want something, it'd be like some milk or uh, four cans of Coke, which means I have to go to the other right, or the other side of the garage to get it. You know, don't seem happy. Karen Long, hi Karen. Fiona, co-op shuts at 10. That's five minutes walk from me, so I'm okay. Are you showing off, aren't you? <laughs> you're showing off that you got a co-op and it's five minutes walk and you've still got, you know, two and a half hours before it closes. I'd love that. I'd love to just have a co-op or a mini Tesco's or, you know, something that's just across the road. Not just across, but I don't want one right in on, on my doorstep, but... It'd be really cool just to be able to just five minute walk, go and get a paper. If I get a paper that I don't normally get papers anymore, but get the, you know, get milk. I should really go to the garage and get some milk. I bought some milk yesterday. Yeah? Used by 28th of October. Is it 28th today? What the hell are they doing selling me milk? It's pretty much out of date before I even get it home. What the hell? And I know I could probably drink it tomorrow and it'd be fine, but I can't. I can't mentally do it. I can't drink that milk tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to have toast. Actually, it's not so bad because I can have egg on toast. Yeah, I live nice scrambled egg on toast or my jack makes a bit of a mess of the sauce for I could do poached eggs. I like what I do is God this is boring. You know when I do the let me boil the sleep, so I can do that for an hour, but sometimes in a conversation I have to stop because it's boring. Because what I'm saying is boring up. I can't, I'm too bored to say the rest of it. It's, uh, <laughs> milk will be fine for one day later. I know, but I can't. Look, once I know there's a, a baby crocodile in my bath water, I'm not gonna get into the bath. That's how I see it. Once I know it's there, I can't just forget it's there. Once I know it's out of date, I can't move on from that. I can't drink it. It'd be alright for tea or for coffee, because coffee's good like that and milk's good like that, isn't it? Because if you put milk in coffee and if the milk's off, it curdles. So you can see if it's okay or not. Doesn't do that with uh, cornflakes though. Or rice krispies. Instead of going rice, snap, crackle and pop. Oh no, I'm out of date. Oh. Never use dates. I think dates are nice. No, I think the clothes. The dates. Apple pie. Dates. Clothes. I do. I'm a very, I'm a very datey person. I'm very dated. I'm a very dated person. But I do, I do check the labels. I can't help it. 
If I drank a glass of milk and I found out I was out a day after, even if I enjoyed it and it was the best milk, and I, I actually wrote a poem about how wonderful the milk was, if I found out later that it was out of date, I'd feel ill. United Vibe. Uh, and all the fun. It's going to be open at the end of the show. But now, one more time, for United Vibe. Oh, one of them looks like he's got his pajamas on. Oh. Oh, the fact that uh, Simon's girls again locked up for them, currently carrying the natural grid with her energy is better than both. Mm -hmm. So Fiona is saying, uh, I don't got much on this week. Just normal stuff, socks, underpants, sports bra, you know. Um, I've no idea. The diary's over there. It's not usually that <laughs> that full. What have I got? I'm waiting for delivery, so. I've got a laptop coming this week, a new laptop, well it's, it's not new, it's reconditioned, but it's uh, a replacement for the other one, it means I'll be able to do some more recording audio and stuff. Other than that, that's left me skin, so... So I can't kind of go out clubbing or anything because I haven't got enough money for that. Or go to any top restaurants or anything. There must be something going on this week. I've got a doctor's appointment at some point. I think that's November though. I've got a, a, a fly eating plant, you know those Venus fly eating plants. So I've ordered one of those online, so that's coming the next day or so. Should be here today actually, but I don't, I'm not sure if it will. And also, so I'm going to stick that on the windowsill. Well, not on the windowsill, I'm going to put it not far from the radiator. So it's nice, or well, somewhere. It's going to go somewhere. And hopefully, because they attract the flies, and so it can eat the, it can eat the flies. And it's, then it's natural, isn't it? It's nature. Yeah. Clubbing. Oh, it's funny about me clubbing. Good. Might club. Never gone clubbing, ever. But for me, clubbing actually would literally mean walk around holding a big club, you know? I'm not, I don't. The thing is, I used to be a dancer. Not it used to be like a professional, but when I was seven, eight, nine, you know, I absolutely loved dancing. Every time I went to a wedding or you know, some family occasion or whatever, you know, or something, I'll be dancing, I'll be dancing like Shaking Stevens, and I'll go down onto my knees, I'll smash my knees on the floor, and then scream, and then jump up again, and carry on dancing. Which could explain why I have knee issues now, sometimes. I've also got a headset coming with a, a microphone and a pel set, 
which yeah. is supposed to be really good like for the iPhone when I'm doing live streams so that the, the volume is a bit better. Although I have found a way of getting that thing closer to me. Me and Ian are so like, he's never been clubbing, he'd rather just play PlayStation. Ah, but I don't play PlayStation. I work PlayStation, I don't, I don't, I used to have a PlayStation back in 2004. Wow. Five, six. To about 2005, I had a PlayStation. And uh, I just didn't really like it. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Irene. I should introduce Trevor. He's, he's one of the first um, bloggers or vloggers I ever watched on YouTube. And uh, what is it you say? Hi, hammerheads and stuff. Shh. Yeah. It's kind of uh, just when I started doing vlogging. I don't do much vlogging but now, but yeah. Hello. Hi, Irene. Um, Boston Chicken introduced me to a lot of the different blog, like vloggers on YouTube at the time. That was about 2000. And 11, 2010, 2011, something like that. So I'm just on here watching telly. That's it. What's going on here? Oh, it's back. Watching the X Factor from last night. I kind of realised that. What was I going to say? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I had a PlayStation in 2015, but. I'm not a games person. The only time I ever really. Andre! Andre! Come on, Goody, stop. He's not a dog. He never does anything I tell him to do. Come here, Andre! Ignore me! Ignore me! That's a good boy. I did, um, I used to really be into the Atari, so I had an Atari game system, I didn't have it, but my brother, no, my, my uncle had it, and I used to love the game Smurf, and you just basically just jump over stuff. Love the Atari. Because you had the handle. Big handle and just, I don't know. Just love, I don't know, it just felt right. <laughs> oh God, this woman, she's singing her own song. So this woman, she's come on here on TX Factor, and she had this hit, the song she's playing now. It's a classic song, but she sung it originally. That's what's funny about it. It's her song. So she's come on to the X Factor, having already been like a, a bit of a star for a while, and now <laughs> she's singing her own song.
I love this song that came out. It's probably talking late 90s. So I was a DJ back then. Judges have got to say about it. It just seems a bit of a cheat to sing your own song. I don't know. Hi Sebastian. Think about how wonderful this country is. Right, I'll turn that off. I wonder what's on TV now. In 22 minutes, X Factor's on. <laughs> the tonight's X Factor. I'm going to do something I don't know. Where's, where's, where's Sebastian? Go on. Oh, excuse me. Got an inchy armpit. Oh. And, um, I have to go for one of those numbers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's not yuck, it's yummy. Lovely smell. Mm. Oh, maybe not. I have to remember to wash my hands before I go to the toilet. Don't want to cross contaminate. Neither. The flash. Oh, yeah. What the trouble was, I didn't, I didn't know the answer. It's not Gamma Bomb. Mm. I'll put the flash. Ah, I've got the flash. Incredible Hulk. 
It's incredible hope. What? Not that in the movie. Because Dr. Bruce Banner is a nuclear research scientist. That's why he was there. Didn't happen in the telly program, though. I doubt that. <laughs> we had six to one answer now. Let's hope we get them all on the bounce. Here's your question. Oh, excuse me. Little Willie was the first prototype of what military transport A tank PG C. Well, apparently. Fiona and whoever else is watching. Oh, hey! I've just seen a re picture of a really pretty lady, but I can't quite see who it is. It's a really, really attractive picture. But I can't. Oh, it's gone. Damn it! I got excited then. I wonder who that was. Oh well. I had a model coming on to say hello to me. I'm going to roll a rolly up. A rolly uppy uppy. I'm going to smoke. <laughs> Thing is, I can't not smoke. I can't go hours and hours and hours apart from when I'm asleep. And all those years that I went without smoking before I started smoking, and all those 17 years I went. That spoken as well. Other than that, my baby. No, I don't like the idea of vaping. I think they're dangerous. I think. Uh, What well, you know, I'm not saying that cigarettes are good, obviously, because I have a brain and I can't, can't really justify it. But vaping, if the liquid that you they put into the vapes really are deadly dangerous, then why are you breathing it in? And also, if I got a vape, I want it to taste like a cigarette. I don't want a, I don't want a strawberry flavoured cigarette. Doesn't just doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. I just I can see how if I was younger, you know, I was still at school and vapes had just come out, I'd probably be really into it. Like, ooh. But it's strawberry, it tastes like pineapple. I could see how I could get into that. But mm. I can stop any time. I just like smoking. Right, it's a bit strange, but I do. I actually like it. But I will stop. If I feel any kind of physical issues. There's no one on it now. No one's watching. Now I'm, now I'm smoking. Oh no, I don't like him now. Yeah, but I don't want to stop, really. I don't have any vices. I don't do drugs, I don't drink alcohol. I don't, what other vices could there be? I don't have sex. I don't dance. Um, I don't go out. I don't socialize. I don't have fun. Yeah, so basically, cigarettes and Coke, Coca-Cola, it's the only thing that I've got. 
as far as a little bit of like self pleasure kind of I do enjoy making videos and doing the audios and doing the, you know, the free hypnosis service, I do. But it's a different kind of, it's kind of also, it's work, or for me it's my work, it's the, it's my, my life, you know. Do I never go out? Rarely, rarely go out. I go to... So how many times have I been at this week? Is your child age two or three? If so. I'll turn you out, what am I listening to the adverts for? I went out. No, I did go into town because I had to get on medication on Monday. I went into, not town, but I went to the boots chemist uh, with my friend. And then we went to Iceland. And also to the doctors first. So yeah, that's the last time I went out. It was Monday, last Monday. I do take Andre out for little walks and stuff, but um, I haven't actually been out, you know, out of my area at all. Not been into town for I can't remember the last time. Hi Sebastian. I wanted to say something to Sebastian. I have something to say to you, mate. When you reply to this, I'll tell you. See, I don't get out that much. Part of the reason I couldn't go out this week, not kind of really because I uh, cancelled my my bank card so I didn't couldn't access my money so Sebastian I wanted to say to you mate that you what you said to uh, John it was really nice. Yeah, double trouble now that he's on. What you said to John, what you posted to him was really nice. Very nice um, comments that you were making. So, yeah, I was quite impressed with that. So you have got it in you yeah? <laughs> to be nice. <laughs> You're just never nice to me. And no, I'm not putting you on today because I'm watching television. I don't normally smoke on camera, but as I've been recording for, how long have I been recording for? About two hours. So Sebastian says, yeah, now we both know I can be kind. Yeah, I didn't, didn't realise. Good for you. One hour 25, yes. Yeah, seems like longer. I was told that sometimes these things, these live, hi Sheila. You know, the pictures come up and just, I can't see them. I can see them. And just like nice pictures, so like smiley, nice smile there. What's his name? Um, Sebastian looks looks like Jesus. Looks from from a distance there. Sebastian, okay. And I've never been. I've never unkind with people who actually suffer. So you unkind to me though. So I never suffer, eh? 
Mind you, I'm kind of usually in a good mood, and then you, you make me suffer. <laughs> Especially when I can understand what the other person feels. Yeah. Someone said to me the other day, he said, uh, like in person, they said, you don't look like you've got anything wrong with you. It's like, you can't see. I'm not going to read everything you write down there, Sebastian. Mind you, the comments are available for people to read on Facebook. <sighs> basically, I am the second squirt. I think he's basically saying that. I am the second load. sleep. So I'm not sure if there's any, if there's really much point to me being on here, doing these live things. But people ask me if I do them. So I don't know, I kind of, new land, you know I've written you often kind of words. Yes, you have. I was only joking, mate, I was only joking. I know you have, it's just hard to find you amongst all the hate and anger <laughs> that you send. <laughs> and especially that picture, oh man. I'm worried, you realise that could make me look really, really bad, because that, well I'm not going further, but I have to put a block on my, on my, fa on my Facebook so that no one can post stuff anymore. Because I always used to have it like that. I used to always used to have it free and then I think at one point you kept posting stuff and I don't want people to see anyone else's posts, just mine. I don't mind the occasional post, especially if it's like a compliment telling me, you know, how wonderful I am. That's always nice to see. Um, but I want my, you know, if I'm posting a, a session I've got, I want that to be seen. not the Uncle Doland that I was worried about, it's the other picture that you photoshopped or whatever that actually looked real. So yeah, that was a bit worrying. But please don't post it because you got to remember there's a lot of people on Facebook that take they might take it literally they don't realize what you're that you're just joking about you know and uh i know where you're coming from but i don't think anybody else a lot of other people won't know they don't know our ongoing jokes you know what i mean look at my hair andre i think andre keeps coming out to see whether or not his dinner's there yet I feel I left out. I wish I'd seen this picture. No, you really don't. You really don't feel. No. S yeah, the one you sent me in the PM, but do not send it to anybody else, seriously. Because I'll tell you in a private message why. But this way. If I had the gong, I would I would bang the wrong gong towards you. Wrong. Bong. say anything someone said that they liked me doing these videos a couple of people because it feels like they're 
maybe that they're in the room with me or that they're not alone or that they're, I don't know. So Sebastian, he was never gonna post it publicly, good. I mean, I can't stop you from doing stuff like that, but you just, you could mess up my entire life if you did start, because let's face it, you can put anything together, can't you, with the software that you've got. So you can, even you did it with, the, with me talking, so you can mix up the different things that I've said to make me say different things, to, to make the sentences differently, because I've got, let's say it's hundreds and hundreds of hours, just with the, um, let me boil you to sleep, there's 50 of those, and most of them are nearly an hour long. You could cut and paste and make it into a completely different conversation. But that wouldn't be fair. Apologies to anyone that doesn't like smoking, but currently I'm smoking, but it's only a short term thing. Or will be if I keep smoking. I'll take it. Oh, this is a huge sebi. You're getting too professional with this woman. Well, no, you could use those skills. As I said, I need, Sebastian, I need help with banners, pictures, and, you know, for my website and for videos and stuff like that. I mean, you know, that'd be quite cool, like a nice logo. I do want logos with Andre in it though. He's, he's for me, he's, he's my mascot. <laughs> Everything I do, um, at the moment anyway, I like to kind of try to include him if I can. That's why I have him in his, I have him in as many videos as I can. If, if I can grab him, but my arms aren't long enough to grab him, which means I'd have to get up and, to be fair, I'd just have to get up and walk over there. I might as well just do that. Why don't I just do that? I'll go and get on break. Give me two seconds. Andre. Sebastian, you're calling yourself Sebi now, are you? <laughs> you want me to start calling you Sebi? Sebi, say hello to Sebi. Mm. Give him daddy kisses. Mm. I've woken him up, but he probably needs a poo now. Or maybe he's done a poo, and that's why he's licking, licking my lips to take away the taste. Hey? Is that what you're doing? Sebi says, JJ, you know what? I'm way too lazy to bother to listen to 10,000 hours of you to find some snippets that I can rearrange that would be work. Yeah. I wonder how many hours worth of stuff I've done over the last 12, 12 and a half years. It's nearly 13 years now, isn't it? Because it started in sort of January 2000. 16, 2006 rather. Hey, who's a smelly belly belly belly? Who's a smelly belly belly belly? Who's a smelly belly? Hello, I'm gonna say hello to everyone. Say hello, hello. Say hello Fiona. Hello Sebi, Uncle Sebi. So how you doing? Are you want to you say hello to Sebi, how are you doing Andre? Well as it happens, I'm doing all right. Oh, you don't normally talk like that. Now then, now then, leave me alone. Okay, all right. Oh, X Factor's on. Tickle tummy, tickle tummy, tickle tummy, tickle tummy. Tickle 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 Okay, he's gone. That didn't last. I oh, know, yeah. 
Oh. I think he wants his dinner. But I can't even bother to get it. Oh, Andre. Fuck's sake. It's just not something off. Don't lick that, it's an electric plug. The X Factor's on now. How was you sleep, JJ? Voting is a hard, exhausting business. Voting? What are you voting for? Well, the X Factor. To face the music. Hello, Christopher. It's all about me. It's all about me. We had a federal state vote today, new minister president vote. New minister president. So is that for your prime minister? What's her name, Herkel, Berkel? Merkel. Merkel? So is, it, is it a general election in New Germany? So I'm watching Little Mix. Germany is a collective of 16 federal states and Merkel is the boss of Federation Republic of all those. So she's the boss, she's the... She's the Prime Minister, isn't she? Germany President or German Prime Minister. We're missing Little Mix, ITV. What's her first name? Hag. Hag Merkel. Oh, what's her first name? It's not Hag, is it? Because she pronounces her name first name wrong, if I remember. Sebastian says, no, Merkel is our Chancellor. She's Chancellor, yeah, so she's in charge. She's a boss. Ian's got F1 at all, I tell you. That would be the end of the relationship for me. <laughs> if I was with someone and they had the television on, on a different channel to what I wanted to. I don't know if I'd be able to move over. Move over that, that at all. It's just Merkel, the Merkel, like in your country, the May or the Thatcher. No, we do call her uh, Melissa May, whatever her first name is. We do call her, we do call her by her first name as well. What is her first name, anyway? Margaret. I think Margaret. Theresa, no, I'm talking about the, the German 
the German Chancellor. I was going to say, um, here's a question I was wondering. This is to Sebastian. How popular is the word, is the name Adolf in Germany? Do you know many people called Adolf? Did it did it lose its popularity at some point, or is it still? Gary says, sorry, I cannot do this as I do not use Messenger. Oh, right, I don't think, do you think you need Messenger for this? Do you? Oh, you do not use Messenger. Oh, I'm confused. Um, Sebastian, almost non-existent anymore, of course. Why, of course? There was actually a newspaper article on that topic recently. Worldwide, the adults have died out. I wonder why. It has not illegal to name a kid that. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe it. Sebastian, in one sentence, how many people you could have offended in just that one sentence. Um. See, like, the, the biggest hero of our country, you know, sort of, in history, would probably be, like, in recent history, Winston Churchill. Yeah. There's not a lot of Winstons. I've not met a lot of Winstons. So I don't know why that is, why more people, why didn't people call their sons Winston? You know, after the war and stuff. It's during the war. You know, oh. I don't know, Sebastian, I don't know. Was your country in the war? I'm not sure, I forget which countries are involved. comment was redacted due to overwhelming offensive content. <laughs> is that what you've written yourself? I think is I don't think um, Facebook would use a word like redacted. Retracted maybe, but not redacted. So you could literally sing the shopping list and I enjoy it. But she did go up there and say, you know, 
Dozen eggs, two loaves of bread, some fish fingers, and a fish's head. You wouldn't have got through. Oh, what are you singing and shopping this for? I'm caught that I was a dumb piece who just sat down to make one attack and would be a peaceful vegetarian. He did have some bad press. Maybe flies have come out to play again. Fiona, have you cleaned? Have I cleaned? Oh my god, what's Jesse saying? Oh god, you're really going for it tonight, Sebastian. Stop it. Fiona, have you cleaned? Cleaned what? You feel I've got, I haven't got flies in here because it's dirty, you know? I haven't cleaned the wall, look. It's no longer got that mark. That it had. Well, you mean me? If I if I clean myself, do they just? That's the thing. Actually, do they do seem to appear wherever I am? Maybe you're just following me. Oh. That's scary. Hi, Andrea, Dimatia, 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 Dimatia. How you doing? You alright? Me and the house. Mm. Stop Lionel, I can see the black spot from here. Yeah, there's that, but most of it's gone. I did wipe it down. Hello. The next chapter is safe for now. It's so I'm ignoring you now, I'm watching this. Final category. The critics. Yeah, Sebastian, you. Uh...
Visually impaired and blind. So big shock already. Oh, I saw Andrew Allen slowly towards Benny like that. I know. He was just looking at me right in the eyes, just like his big eyes. Just, oh. Sebastian and Andy J somehow upset over the news I thought in the future. Didn't sell it to Andy as well. So hello three of you who are there, so I've got Andy, Fiona and Sebastian. And I've had probably about 600 people come on in and leave very quickly. <laughs> For whatever reason, I just saw me and thought, what the hell? Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. Seb, you've got some making up to do. Can you imagine what you could do with it, Sebastian, with that creativity? Hi, me. Andre's getting correct. Can you hear that in the background? He's getting really excited in a carrier bag. I think he needs his dinner. It's probably time I left. I saw something but my phone died. Andrew, oh, well. Yeah. I need to get in some food and probably maybe take him out for a little walk. You could apply some makeup onto my face, but it's not going to make me look any worse than it does anyway. Try and make me look a bit paler. Maybe look pale. I like I like the idea of looking pale. Just looking that, you know that kind of. Just like yeah, paler. I plead the fifth. Andre, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little monkey? I might have to go fly hunting in a minute, try and get rid of a few of them. I could have made two sessions in this time. Good night, I could actually make some videos and posted them online for people to watch. But it's not really a wasted time because I planned on watching the X Factor anyway, so I might as well just, I didn't get to watch it last night because it coincided with the boxing. Diamonds are forever, ping pong ding the river. This is a boy you just leave live. I suppose, in a way, it, could, it really is, isn't it? Do you want to tag Diane's? So I want it to be tagged in it, I think. Yeah, I suppose I could, it could be a, just came up here, do you want to tag 
dying stuck lock on here. So I just, yeah, but I don't know why. So I thought she was asking to come on. So the thing is, because it's, I suppose you could probably, during the adverts, don't tag me. Okay. No, but it's not tagging. It hasn't done anything. It just, I don't know. What does it say? I M A O Andy. I had to Google it. Thanks. I will use it in my vocabulary from now on. Pleading the fifth. The fifth doesn't count unless you live in America, Sebastian. Yours is probably, I don't know, whatever, whatever rule of law you have there, I suppose. That's uh, outdated. Um, was it JJ? Was John Kelly on here since we was? We posted that saying, could I come on in tonight? So I did re reply to that saying, I will, I'm on here now. And um, I've not seen him yet. So, but I don't really, I'm probably gonna go in a minute because I can't be bothered doing it anymore. I wanna go and do something else. I feel a bit restricted because I'm stuck here and I do want to watch The X Factor but I also need to get in some dinner and you know bloody flies there's not lots of flies it's just but a few that just keep coming back I just I look like I want to delete stuff no I'm not I'm not like that there's nothing left to delete. I deleted my podcast twice, no, three times or four times in the last two weeks or three weeks. Can you believe I had 200,000 listens on the main podcast and then uh, deleted it. And then. I started another one, yeah, deleted that. Then I started the recent one, and then I deleted that on Sunday. And I've, I've applied to SoundCloud to see if I can get it reinstated, but they've still not got back to me yet. Yeah, I won't be deleting anything. But it's loads of stuff. All my, all my MP3s that were on the SoundCloud podcast they're all available to download on my website. They're all available as MP3 to download. Everything. Every video that's on YouTube is available to download on my website. So I'm okay with that you know, side of things. It's just people don't realize it. So I think it's, it's much easier just to go onto a podcast or go onto YouTube and watch the video than to I guess than to look through, go through the process of downloading it on my website. But hopefully people will start to sort of get get their head around that's quite a good place to go to get the stuff. Because everything's on there. Every single bit of my work that's available, including Jason Chat vlogs that I've deleted from YouTube, are still on my website. To download so and I'm not deleting that and no one has the ability to affect that either as long as I pay the, the monthly charge to keep my um, my website going then you know no one nothing's gonna happen to that so everything's gonna be available in fact to delete it I'd have to delete the entire website if I wanted to go delete an individual tracks, it would just take forever, um, you know. So I'm keeping it. Hopefully, I say that I've deleted so many websites as well. It's ridiculous. Andy and I on your case. You're both on my case. Thank you. No, I'm not deleting anything. I'm not. I think it's a case of not creating anything when I'm not in the right space. But I'm not deleting anything. But then I say that last week I destroyed my laptop deleted podcasts <laughs> and destroyed lots of stuff so that's, that's even just only a week ago isn't it I already offered you JJ give me your password and I'll make sure you never delete anything ever again 
I'm a little bit scared to give you my passwords, if I'm honest. I have said to you though, and I'll say this out now, if you like what I do and if you want to just download my stuff and save it. And then when I'm dead, or gone, or wherever, you can keep my stuff alive by posting it online. It's just, it's all available to download, it's all free. But if I'm gone, I won't be able to pay for it to keep, I won't be able to, I can't pay for the website to keep going forever. Um, so it'll be gone, all my stuff will be lost, so. I'd like to think that maybe some people will be able to keep hold of it and keep my work going when I'm, when I'm not here anymore. I would go on court record that I would never change anything to your disliking when it comes to that. I'm not a bastard of you. Thank you, Sebastian. Wouldn't change your... I wouldn't change your jasonand.com website into a worship shrine for other people. I don't mind. I'd quite like to do that now. <laughs> Other people, not for other people, other people to worship me. No, I don't really, can't imagine that ever happening. I do, what does make me humours me a little bit is whenever I'm kind of maybe the podcast is gone the YouTube channel is gone no one remembers my website address and I've been saying it at the beginning of every single video and audio since 2006 hello welcome to jasonnewland.com what used to be www.jasonnewland.com I still do it always have every single session pretty much might be a handful but I didn't. Yeah, no one remembers the address. <laughs> how can you not how can you forget it? The flies. Oh my god, Andre's What are you doing? Andre, are you hungry? Listen to this. See Andre's found where his dry food is stored and he's trying to get it off of the Let's see if I can turn this around so you can see. Oh no, no bother. Andre. Here lies jasonnewland.com. At the moment, I can't, um, I've been uploading stuff, but I can't add any pictures because I need a, like, a proper laptop to do that stuff. But all the sessions have been uploaded, all the new stuff, as videos and as MP3s. So, so, Janika, hi Janika. Well, I've got five people watching. That's until people look at, don't read, oh. Because we all know you will come back to Facebook. Yeah, but my stuff's not available to download on Facebook. Well, I suppose the link's there, I guess. I just, Sebastian says that line will be on your headstone. So welcome to jasonnewland.com. No, I do. I want jasonnewland.com there. Bohemian Rhapsody. In all seriousness now, does Andre ever really react and listen to his name? I thought that's not possible with any pet. Then again, you made him extra cuddly, which is not too common with Feral tonight. Yeah, bro. Well. Oh, okay, cool. You get the links, Facebook, fine, yeah. 
Um, he does, Andre does react to his name. He hears me, he understands me, but he ignores me. That's what he does, he ignores me. I'm just saying, look. Is that Letitia? Is that Letty? I think I see a picture of Letty on that on there. It's really difficult. I can't see the the because the phone's over there, and it's just like these tiny little pictures. Or if it was, she's gone. Never mind. I would too. You would too. What, Sebastian? No. Stop that, Andre. Sometimes if I'm firm and I say stop, he does. If I say it in a, um, a proper angry voice, I don't like to do that, but sometimes I have to, and he does stop. So if he's on my table, I say get down, and he usually just ignores me. If I say, sometimes I say get down, and he just gets off straight away. He's, in his, he's not in his puberty, Sebastian. He's 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 been shagging for two years. He's past his puberty. He's he's an adult now, but he's I don't know. They become fertile quite early. Oh fuck! Oh, he's opened it. I might as well show you what he's done. Yeah, he's running away now because he knows that he's naughty. See that? Yeah, that's it. That's him. And it was sealed shut. You think that's funny, dear? A wind up. I'm going to go. I have to clear that up now. What if it changes? Does it change it? Yeah, that's it. There you go. Thing is, look. He's got his food there. That's how much discipline he's got. It's a little bugger, he really is. No respect, he does that in front of me. And look, I'm here, and he's still eating it. He's just got no s lack of discipline, isn't it? Well, it's good now I know that I can flip the uh, camera around when I'm filming live. Didn't know I could do that. That's the rest of the room. That's his. That's his cage. It's not bad, is it? It's got like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six levels. 
including the ground. See, he's got that, that's where he sleeps at night, in there. He's also got a thing in there, I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't, no. But it's inside there. You can also sleep in there as well. He's got his water bottle. He's got, in there, his food. Here's a fly, look. That's a television. I know I shouldn't really show that being playing live. I think, that's, I think that's illegal, I think. That's the curtains. That's the chair. This is my little setup I have. Look, so I've got that. He knocked that off. What's too small? So I've got the laptop. I've got this is what the mi the microphone's been the phone's been on. That's the chair. Can of coke. Look. And that's the laptop. It's not a laptop. It's an iPhone. That's the table and chairs. They were my nans. I inherited them. So I'll keep them forever. That thing over there, where the iPhone, the the hub is on, that was my nans as well. So I'll keep that forever. And this, where the TV's on, that was my nans as well. So I'll keep that forever as well. That's it. I'm trying to watch this while I do. I don't know why. I did some did some bedding washing yesterday, so I washed that. That's a stain that's never going to come out. That's nice, isn't it? That's Andre. That was wasn't me. And that's the other thing. That's down there. That's my coats. The radiator's got stains. That's just Andre where he's been jumping up at it. Bathroom. Have a look at this. How's that for a collection of uh, deodorants? How's that collection? Look. Mouthwash. See all that stuff I've got? See there? Soap. More deodorants. Toothpaste, about twenty toothpaste in there. Water. I do like to collect stuff. That's his favourite bag. This is boring, isn't it? <laughs> so that's his like little toy section. He's got all his little bits that he likes to play with. That's his favourite bag that he sleeps in, and I take him out in it. It absolutely stinks, really bad. And that's his water. He's got a water thing, it's quite big, so he can dip his dip his face into it. That's me biscuits, my ginger nut biscuits. Always got a bottle of water there. <sighs> that's my iPad. It's an old one. That's me Sky uh, internet thing. Yeah. I'd I'm, I'm, I'm getting supplies up. I've got more supplies as well. I'm literally not watching. In. Here's me kitchen. So that's me tins of beans, look. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 60 tins of beans. Behind there, The 
there's loads of cat food as well. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. Twelve cat foods, and there's uh, twelve packs in each. What else have I got? Breakfast cereal. Quite a few. That's my cupboard. It's got four bags of sugar. Pasta. Oh, I need more water. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There's lots of water in there. What about some more water? Oh, some more water. So that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Fridge. Not a lot in there really at the moment. A few chocolate bars. Milk that's out of date. Look, 28th. 28th of October. Ridiculous. It even okay. says... Used by 20 of October, 223. People says he has an actual date you should need to use it by. Let me show you my books as well while we're here. I haven't got a very good book collection anymore, but this is what I got. These are the only ones I've got left. So I stand back. So that's one bookcase. There's a lot of mainly hypnosis books and the other one it's a bookcase as well that's a picture of my me and my nan there you go it's a picture of the curtains been doing some washing that's Andre being naughty and that's my bed. I need to change, put the duvet cover on, but... Oops, sorry, I just trilled on his tail. So that's the bed. So it's a double bed. I kind of need a double bed just for me, really. And that's my wardrobe. Not a lot of stuff in there really, just bits and bobs, shoes are on top. And that's me, chest of drawers, not chest yet. Yeah. It's just, yeah, that's it pretty much the entire flat. Or do you want to look into the storage room? That's the front door. This is the storage room. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's quite a big storage room. A lot of stuff. It's very messy. So all my paperwork. Just bits and bobs and stuff. Just things that I can't use at the moment. Andre's coming in. No, get out. Oh, caught you, little bugger. There you go, look at you. You know what he likes to do? Do you want to see him fight? Oh, come on. <laughs> the floor is covered in oh he basically wants to go into the cupboard that's all he wants now he's ruined this carpet Look at that, he's, 
constantly pulling that carpet up there. Spreading mess throughout the carpet. Yeah, he is. I'm relentless, isn't he? This is me while I'm watching him. Imagine what he does when I'm not watching him. I want to see him do a poo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. £600 it cost me for this carpet. And that's on special offer. And within about two weeks of having him, it was ruined. Right, I'm gonna get him some dinner, I'll get him some breakfast. So I'm gonna do, so I've got these, this is food. You see I've got a big, it's just some of them. I know I need to wipe the top over, but don't worry, it's just coffee stains. I haven't been wiping my ass on it. And normally he doesn't go on there. Kettle. Ooh. Andre. And what he wants to do is knock everything off. Hard to do this one-handed. Andre, no. Get get away from. Oh, it looks really dirty. It's not as dirty as what it looks. It is just coffee. I'm going to cover up the stains now. There he is. What a great picture, isn't that lovely? Just call me David Attenborough. Oops. Right, 
okay. He doesn't generally like to eat it all in one go. Okay, come on then. There you go. Right. I've been on here for ages now, so I'm going to go. Huh. I've got him his food, I'm going to have to clear up his mess and probably take him out for a little bit, possibly. And I've missed the X Factor, I've missed it. Bloody hell. So I'll have a little watch, the end, to see who gets kicked out. So I'm going to love you and leave you and love you even more. And I shall speak to you next time. I will possibly make a hypnosis session tonight. That will be available. I'll post it on Facebook anyway. Don't remember, remember jasonnewland.com. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining me. See ya.